Hello everybody, just check to see if my seatbelt's on. Welcome to today's thrift chat. Thrift, this is not the thrift. Yeah, this is a thrift channel. Welcome to today's thrift program, show, whatever you want to call it. Are we going to find anything fantastic today? What do you guys think? Okay, what I need you to do right now before we get to savers, put this on pause. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, now that you're back, and I didn't tell you what to do, and you put it on pause, which made absolutely no sense because that's how I roll. Tell me down below, in the comments below, what purse are you looking for that you really, really want me to find and put for sale, okay? I need everybody to let me know down below. Please don't say Hermes. I know everybody wants Louis Vuitton, at least most people want Louis Vuitton. Yes, I know, I know, I know. But let's be a little more realistic because not, like Hermes is like once in a lifetime and yes, I did find one once. Uh, I actually paid, I can't remember, it was like between eight and $10. It was a little Birkin, the 28. I don't remember the leather, the leather name. I want to say Clements or something like that. I don't remember. And it was in like a raspberry color. Anyways, I paid between eight and 10 bucks for it. I literally flipped that thing for $8,000. And I went and I put a down payment on my car before this one, which was lots of years ago, a lot of years ago. Um, if, will that ever happen again? I'll never say never, but I'm definitely not counting on it. Um, Louis Vuitton comes once in a blue moon. Uh, Chanel, have I ever got like one of the little, I have, per yes, I have got, yes, I have. I have purchased and sold real Chanel. Um, I'm trying to think. But, you know, those are like, it's like the lottery. It's like winning the lottery. A little bit easier than winning the lottery, but it's right up there with winning the lottery. So, do me a favor, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what bag are you really, really on the hunt for that I can hopefully find because... Lord knows this is about, hmm, I was going to say half of my life is looking for purses, but maybe half. I am, I am a busy momo. I tell you that much. I really am. But I really want to make you guys happy. I want to find things that you can't find or that you've been looking for. Um, makes us all happy that way. And the best thing is, is finding things that you can't find in a department store or ordering from China or because we want to keep it in home guys we want to keep it in home right now anyways we want to put we want to keep we want to keep small businesses open as much as we can um, because y'all know what's going on right now and it ain't the best so go ahead put that down below uh, we're gonna be at Savers in just a couple seconds and hopefully find wouldn't that be great if I found something as you're writing it right now that'd be phenomenal wouldn't it all right guys see you in Savers a line sorry about my windshields being dirty that's called sap you guys that is sap that we have from our trees that is a total pain in the butt Re uh, Reed washes my car for me in and out once a week and I have to clean my windows every single day okay so we have a line let's find a place to park all right guys so I do have a couple things in my cart I'm gonna show you look they have the little tote it looks just like the one that I sold. It was the larger one, but this one's um, pretty messed up. But the same one, how much? $12.99. Pretty tall work. Um, I found a Michael Kors that I really like that I'm getting. It's in here. It's the black one right there. I found a Betsy Johnson. You can see the little flower thing right there. Does anybody know what um, this brand is? I'm going to have to look it up. I mean, it's really super cute with all the little charms on it. Um, it's still got the new tag on it. Uh, 50 bucks. From, oh, it's from Bath and Body Works. Okay. It says Goldie on it, but it's a really cute pink crushed velvet. I don't know if you guys want that or not. I just thought it was cute with all the little charms and stuff. So I might get it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just keep looking. Oh, here's another one. Oh, also I wanted to show you um, this vintage. Well, 
I know a few of you are into vintage. Let me show you this one. There's this little vintage bag. It's really cute. Um, and then there was also this one that's a Safiano leather. I don't know, you guys, if I should get them or not. I don't want to waste money if I know they're, if I'm not sure they're going to sell. This one's pretty cool, though. It opens up like this. It's by Theodore, California. Opens up real wide. Reminds me of a Queen Elizabeth purse, totally. And then um, this one is a really smooth leather. And it is... There's the name on it. But I don't know, you guys. That's where I start. It starts getting tricky. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I have to do a lot of a lot of extra reading on the vintage bags. I used to have this. I wonder if anybody would be interested in this one. Good shape. This needs to be wiped down. That's that Avon brand. Crazy horse. Oh, crazy horse. Yep, it's in good shape. I don't see a price on it. There's no price on this one. Yeah, I can go check for you. Real quick. Okay. Thank you. Oh, here's a Betsy Johnson. That looks to be in pretty good shape too. Maybe. That's a maybe. That looks brand new. That's amazing. This coach is a white one. I had this bag years ago. Randy bought it for me as a surprise for Christmas. It was a whole matching set. And uh, it got broken into my house and it got stolen. such a bummer. He waited in line forever back when he was working out of town. And, um, yeah, waited and waited and waited, got in, got me that adorable bag, and then just a couple months after it got stolen. This one's still here. How cute. The Jessica Simpson bag. 
And you guys, check out this gorgeous leather tote. It looks like a Madewell, totally. But it's by JM New York. So I'm gonna get that one too. I've got a basket full to share with you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you. We've got a lot of stuff. It worked out good today. Um, I got this just because I think it's just so darn cute and the tags are still attached and everything. Um, this is by the brand Goldie. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna know who it is. Um, I don't know if it was like a special thing they had at Bath and Body or what, but it was 50 bucks. Um, the inside's really cute too. It's got this little bunny rabbit with a little rhinestone right right there on the eye, dotted the eye, it's a little rhinestone. Um, it's a really cute blush crushed velvet and look at the little charms on it. Isn't that cute? So, and then it also says Goldie right here. Okay, jingly jingly. All right, that's the first one. Um, you guys, I'm going to try my luck at these vintage bags. I know I did really well. I bought one in the past and it sold right away. Don't know if these will or not. Um, I looked them up. I googled them and they're definitely uh, 50s and 50s, between the 50s and the 60s. Um, they are upwards of $150 each selling right now. So let me show you the ones that I picked up. I think I already showed you in the store. But the first one I got is a Safiano leather one. This is the one I told you it reminds me of a, print, a Queen Elizabeth purse. So it's black Safiano um, with the closure like this. Double handle, it opens up pretty wide. It looks to be in really, really nice shape considering its age. Um, it's got this opening like that, and it opens up real wide. So, not exactly sure what was here, but there's a little, like maybe it's meant to be that way, a little tiny hole on the uh, emblem. And this is by Theodore, California. So it's got this really nice little zipper pocket. It's the satin interior and the clasp. Just clasped like that. Really, really delicate little handbag. Okay. Let me put this down here. And then I also got this little vintage one as well. This is super cute. This is a flat leather. And this one came out to be the 50s. I think this was one that was made in the 50s. It's a black genuine leather, super smooth leather. Little handles. I can't believe the, the condition of these beautiful bags, of these vintage bags. It has a pocket right here. Lovely little pocket. And then another one that just flips open. And it's a bright cherry red leather on the inside with uh, one, two, so this could totally be like your little wallet for your credit cards, your coin, zipper. And this one is by, um, it's got like, looks like a, looks like a little uh, deer and it's by D-O-F-A-N. And the entire bag is leather. Isn't it pretty? So if there's any collectors out there, let me know. Um, I'll, I see vintage bags a lot. This is just a little dusty, but it's beautiful, okay? Let me know, I'll be glad to pick up more vintage bags. I usually just pass them up, but I've, now that I've been Googling them, I see that they're probably a little bit more popular. And yeah, I'll pick those up too. I got this adorable Betsy Johnson. This is one that is no longer made and super cute. I've sold several of these. It's got skulls, it's hot pink with roses, little bows on the side pocket. Let's just tie it back up so it looks pretty. Okay, there's one. Let's retie this one too, make it look pretty. 
all pretty now. So it says Betsy Johnson on the strap, or Betsyville on the straps. Little side pockets with the satin bows. Um, the plaque says Betsyville on it. It's a nylon material. It's got the little um, lightning bolt hang tag. And the inside has a zipper pocket. And then this side has a couple slip pockets. And it's in really, really, really good condition for its age. One of their better, when Betsy Johnson used to put out more quality, quality bags. It's a little flap, it's a little tote. Really cute. Okay, Betsy Johnson. I also got this Betsy Johnson. I couldn't pass this one up because my girls, my Betsy girls love their big totes. Um, and it's like a white leopard cheetah tote style in like brand almost new condition there's the bottom and uh the front pocket right here and you can also wear it like this where it's like a square tote or you can bring it in on the ends the, the snap and it makes more of this style like that and it has a magnetic snap closure the top and then let's just show you how huge this one is it's really big a zipper pocket and two slip pockets okay this jack is driving me nuts the collar on it I'm not used to having anything around my neck like that I'm gonna take it off A nice and cool 62 degree day today <laughs> all right then I went ahead and I got this um, really pretty urban expressions bag look how pretty this is now this is definitely brand new brand new condition with the embossed floral on it the front pockets look at the top handles so pretty it's got a crossbody strap you can take off with lots of adjustment on it. Here's the bottom. And the inside, yeah, brand new. The, the material's still stiff in it. So what's it got here? Oh, two slip pockets and a zip pocket by Urban Expressions. Um, this, I believe, is vegan leather. Let's see, because it feels real to me. That's why I have to read and see. Yes, it's vegan leather, but you would not know it by looking at it and feeling it. That's why when I saw it and I picked it up, I thought for sure it was leather. But I don't think Urban Expressions makes leather. So, isn't that pretty? Nice and lightweight, beautiful crossbody tote. I love that one. All right, and then you guys saw me right before I walked out. This was hanging on an end rack where um, where all the dresses were. Nobody, I guess somebody picked it up and then hung it back up. But this is a genuine leather. I need to look this name brand up. JM New York. Zipper top. It's got a raw leather interior with one zipper pocket. This is so made well-ish. Made well, the brand name made well. See the inside? All raw leather. Great tip top closure. And a really pretty oxblood, burgundy, maroon, whatever you want to call it. And the leather is pretty smooth, I'd say. And it's just gonna get more pretty over time the more you wear it. The bottom. Okay. There is that. I found a Hobo International wallet. This is Hobo International. Put all your cards and your ID in the little ID window. 
there is a nice slip pocket that snaps hot pink interior and the zipper pocket with the hobo brand and the wristlet strap so you can carry it as a little clutch wristlet and it is genuine leather and then last but not least i found this michael kors i'm just gonna take it home give it a little conditioning doesn't even really need it but check this out gorgeous michael kors all intact soft black pebbled leather top handles really pretty and the inside looks like this lots of pockets one two three four slip pockets one zipper pocket the center zipper pocket so two zipper two inner zip pockets and so let me show you the Michael Kors tab You guys see in there okay? And then it's got um, the little Michael Kors hang tag. And this is Michael Kors there. And then if you like, you can take off the, this is Michael Kors as well. If I can find where I just saw it. Oh, right there on all of the hardware. Super soft black pebbled leather. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And that, my friends, is today's haul. That was a lot. So now I need to get this video up for you guys. Shop away. Everything will be in the down box below. Click on that, the box will drop down. It'll have all of, sorry, looking at somebody outside, have all the information on how to purchase. Um, I'm trying to ship as quick as I can, which is usually within, I try to get it if some, now I was actually able to get my shipping done same day, a couple days ago. But now I'm trying to get it done within 24 to 48 hours. 24 being what I really want to do. So I will connect a video here also if you're confused on how to pay, how to purchase. Okay, you guys, stay humble, stay kind, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.